hope you're all really well. I thought today we could spend a cosy little autumn day together. So I'm just quickly getting ready for the day because this morning we are going on a deer hunt, okay? So our friends recently told us about this place, which basically, it's a bit random. It's behind an Asda about 15 minutes from us and there's like a kids park and apparently and there's like a woodlands behind this kids park and apparently there are loads of little deers in this woodland and if you take a bag of carrots all of the deers will come out and eat the carrots from your hands and like follow you about and it just sounds sounds like something from a fairy tale doesn't it, it sounds like something from like cinderella um and i've never ever seen a deer like really close up so i'm really excited i think no one will love it um so yeah plans for this morning are we're going to pop over to tesco we're going to get all the carrots apparently there's lots of ducks there as well so we're going to get some like i don't know what do ducks eat i know you can't give ducks bread because jamie mentioned this morning getting some bread but bread is actually like really bad for ducks um and often when you go to like a park there's a sign saying like don't feed the ducks bread which is strange because i feel like my whole childhood <laughs> was feeding ducks bread so i'm gonna get them some kind of like i'll have to google it like wild bird feed those little dried worms i'll find something in tesco um but yeah we're going to feed the deers i can't wait i hope they're out today anyway i have just been having a really really quick bathroom organize i have this life motto which is basically if a task like if you stumble across a task like this morning i opened my bathroom drawer and it was just a lot <laughs> it was stressful if you come across a task and it will take you under five minutes to sort do it straight away so i usually set a timer for five minutes and i will go as quick as i can just to sort out that task and i find by doing this it just stops everything become really overwhelming because i think when you've got loads of five minute tasks it then becomes this big thing which then takes hours so i feel good for it i've like got these little clear containers in my drawer which are just filled with all my skincare so i've got like cleansers moisturizers hair bits um and then i've also just sorted out the bits in this cupboard over here noah's little bits in his own little box here which is just really easy to get out when he has his baths and showers so this is your sign if you come across a task that takes under five minutes set yourself a timer and just do it because i promise you'll feel really good for it somewhere else i find can get really cluttered is like around the sink you know where all the toothbrushes are and the toothpaste and the mouthwash i feel like that can get really cluttered but look at this it's actually life-changing Look, we have mounted toothbrushes, his and hers, and look how perfectly they go with our bathroom. Jamie's is the black one, which goes with all of like our black hardware, and then mine is this like pebble colour, which goes like, uh, sorry, but that is the perfect match with the tiles. And we've actually got these little wall mounts, so literally when you finish brushing your teeth, just pop them on the mirror. They can obviously go on tiles, like around your sink, but this is just the perfect place for them. And I think they look really nice. So our toothbrushes are from a brand called Suri, and we've been using them for a couple of months now, and we absolutely love them. Not only do they just look gorgeous in your bathroom, and there's a couple of different colors as well. So you can choose one to match your bathroom, which is just so satisfying. Like I said, keeps your sink nice and clear, mess free. Um, and I just love the mount, I think it's so cool. Not only do these look gorgeous, they're super slim line. They are also so powerful, but also very gentle, which is really important for me because I have really, really sensitive gums. Um, especially since pregnancy, I feel like my gums are just so sensitive and breastfeeding. I think it kind of like plays with your hormones. So it's really good to have a gentle but powerful toothbrush. And I noticed as well how bad my old toothbrush was because when I brushed my teeth, with the Surrey toothbrush for the first time, my teeth literally felt like I'd had like a dentist clean. Like they were just so clean. So yeah, it's really powerful, but gentle. The battery life is also amazing. It has a 40 plus day battery life. And also something else really cool about the brand is the toothbrush heads, you can actually send back to Surrey for free. When you get your order, you'll get like a little free 
like postage label and you can pop your toothbrush heads in there and they will actually recycle them for you for free so they're really sustainable which is amazing also look at the travel case it's so cool obviously great for travel as it doesn't take up much space at all it's really lightweight as well and this is actually a uvc cleaning case so it keeps your toothbrush sanitized whilst you're traveling so very exciting i have secured a 20 percent off discount code for you guys to enjoy if you use my code miles i will leave a direct link in the description box down below but that will get you 20 percent your surrey order like i said there's lots of different colors to choose from and it comes with your mount so i'm gonna brush my teeth and then quickly chuck something on um, something nice and cozy because it's quite cold today and we're gonna go find the deers we're gonna go for a walk in the woods it's gonna be a very nice wholesome morning like this look and they'll all come and get it that's it oh. <laughs> look they love it got a selection of worms and these little <laughs> are you our duckies Aww. Say, dears, where are you? Come They'll come back. We've got carrots for you. <laughs> where are they? Nice. Nice. <laughs> Did they say that it's nice? He says it's nice. Here we have the Deer Whisperer. Oh, wow! <gasps> oh, I can't believe that they just come straight up to you. Wow, Noah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> These two have quite a bit. Look, 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 this one ain't had me yet. No, give the no. No. <laughs> oh my goodness, having the best time. Oh, wow. Hello, aren't you lovely? Hello, boy. We're all out of carrots and fruit. I've never today. been this close to a deer ever. A wild deer. Wow, no, I Wow. Oh. Following us. Jamie, can we take a deer home? One. This one. Uh, this one seems to really <laughs> come home with us. Oh my god, he actually is. No one, look. Would you like a pet deer? Oh, they're so gorgeous. Hi. Hiya. Hello. Oh, look at his little eyes. Yes, yeah, my movement. <laughs> we are back home. Oh my god, guys, the deers were so cute. I have never, ever, ever seen one up close that that I can't speak up that close before, and I didn't know they had like little wet noses like dogs. Oh my god, and their eyes. Oh, they were just so so adorable. I actually wish we'd taken more carrots. We looked like a gigantic bag of carrots but as we were leaving loads came out. We didn't have any more carrots so next time I'm gonna take a couple bags. Yeah that was just so cute. Noah loved it and it was just such a lovely morning. 
Um, so, we've been home for a little while now. Jamie has just gone out on a magical mystery tour with the kids because it's both of their nap times and Noah at the moment <laughs> is baby and toddler sleep is just such a minefield isn't it so at the moment Noah is nearly two and a half um and he is kind of like in this weird place with his nap so he has one nap a day which is from like 12 till half one two o'clock and he i feel like still really needs that nap because it usually gets to about 12 o'clock and he is just so tired but what we're finding is he's just like really fighting that nap and it can take honestly an hour to an hour and a half to get him to sleep in his room so we'll head up there at like half 11 and we can be in there till like one trying to get him to sleep um so last sunday we actually trialed no nap and it was i'll never again again like it made me realize he still needs that nap he definitely still needs that chunk of sleep in the afternoon because last week we thought right let's just see what he's like without a nap and give him a slightly earlier bedtime and it was pure hell <laughs> i won't lie noah turned into the devil about four o'clock in the afternoon it was so strange how like it was like he was possessed it sounds dramatic but if you've ever had an overtired toddler you will know what i'm talking about like he was just so like, he didn't know what to do with himself um he was just like so hyper i'm like where do you get this energy from he was so hyper and just so just all over the place like falling over it was like he was drunk so we won't be doing that again so instead of taking ages to get him to sleep sometimes we do just drive around for an hour so jamie's just gone on a drive with both noah and jonah so they can get a good nap in um it's sometimes just easier sometimes as a parent you just got to do the easy option and just get the kids in the car and just drive around um but jamie's quite happy because he can listen to his podcast and um he quite enjoys driving anyway so I have the house to myself which means one thing i am going to do some cleaning because cleaning with a toddler in the house is just completely pointless it's so counterproductive so i'm thinking whilst they're out for like an hour and a half i'm gonna have a real quick like speed clean um feel like the house just really needs a bit of a freshen up usually clean the house when noah's obviously at nursery but i'm thinking if i get it done today then that kind of frees up a little bit of time in the week so i have <gasps> so happy me and cleaning products that little emoji where they're shaking hands like seasonal cleaning products i get so excited about so i've got pretty much everything from the mrs hinch cozy season collection and these are in the scent white musk and golden maple oh my goodness i wish you guys could smell this through the screen oh my god this smells so good um i pretty much got the collection from the range but i've seen quite a few bits in supermarkets or b&m so if you haven't smelt it yet definitely go and have a sniff so let me show you my collection because i know you guys will appreciate it oh comment below if this makes you as happy as it makes me <laughs> basically so we have got the flash spray love this i usually use this pretty much everywhere in the kitchen um for the sink for the sides for the cupboards just everywhere because it smells so good then we have the flash dust magnet these are scented they're so good it makes like dusting that little bit more enjoyable then we've got lots of laundry bits i love a seasonal laundry scent so we've got the bold white musk and golden maple and then i use that with some of the lenore scent boosters absolutely love these they make your washing smell so good especially especially bedding oh, oh. is there anything better than like nice smelling 
washing. That's just the epitome of adulthood, isn't it? Also, some of the softener. We have got the floor cleaner, which I'm gonna pop in my spray mop today. And then a couple other bits. We've got the air mist. This is just a must to spruce up any room, make it smell so good. And the Febreze Fabric Refresher. This is one of my favorite cleaning products. You can actually spray this on anything fabric in your home and it eliminates odors. So it's great for like rugs in the kitchen which can collect like a lot of scents from cooking. Great for curtains, fabric blinds, um, sofas, mattresses, anything fabric. Give it a spray and it just makes it so lovely and fresh. And then, last but not least, I've got a couple of the plug refills. I love these Febreze plug refills. We actually have one in the hallway, which is like the perfect place because every time you walk past it, you get like a boost of scent. But yeah, I am gonna crack on with my little cleaning list and see how much we can get done before the gang arrives back home. <laughs> utility room this is a little bit of utility room um, reality and what it looks like 90% of the time overflowing washing <laughs> oh does it ever end overflowing washing <sighs> a load that needs to go out oh my goodness the heater just what a mess. We now have to have a heater in here because our washing takes about seven to 10 working days to actually dry. So this actually really helps. Um, and we recently got, I can't really show you right now because it's just a mess. One of these, which I'm so happy about. It's called a Pulley Made. And you like push that, oh, there it goes. Under the, oh my God, now they're all falling. This is carnage. I can't believe that's gone under the litter tray. Anyway, you like pull them down um, and it just saves floor space. That's gonna keep falling now. Oh dear, this is chaotic. The only problem is though, they're a lot smaller than I thought they'd be. So when I ordered them online, I thought they'd be big. So they're only actually good for Noah and Jonah's clothes. So we still have to use our big one for all of our clothes. So yeah, it was a pretty pointless purchase really because I got it to save floor space. Obviously it's attached to the wall so you kind of like have all this floor space. Um, but yeah, they're not big enough. They look nice but they're just not practical.
My mum got me the best present ever the other day, a new Zoe Flora scent. This is Cozy Moments and it's like a really subtle Christmassy scent but also like smells like perfume. This might actually be one of my new favourites. Midnight Blooms is my current absolute fave but this is so nice. If you see this, you need to get it. in high school when they met and things got kind of awkward with sparks in the air he would stare at her in class and she would try to act cool but it was obvious like ooh, they would be together She said, write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know He looked at her and then he smiled Picked up a pen and paper Started writing Probably something about her eyes And how they're always shining Or something cliche like Ooh Baby, I only want you It's true And then he said I wrote you a love song And I tried to make it beautiful coffee as a little reward <laughs> the house feels so lovely and clean honestly that's like one of my small joys in life that just make me so happy a clean house like there's just nothing like that feeling so guys you may notice that this mug is a festive mug and that's because i have collected all of my Christmas bits that I've bought this year, my little Christmas loot. I've been absolutely dying to show you my collection this year and show you the theme that we're doing this year. And we're actually gonna be decorating sooner than you think. I usually like to put my tree up, it's usually around like the 5th or 6th of November, which I know is very early, but for me, as soon as the clocks turn November the 1st, at the strike of midnight, Gem is fully defrosted. Switch from autumn mode to Christmas mode at midnight on the 1st of November. So I'm thinking that's the day I'm actually going to decorate. Mm, first, actually, I popped into Primark the other day and I haven't been to Primark in such a long time. And the reason for that is the Primark near me has the same stock as it's had for about five years. So I don't really bother going in there anymore. But the reason that made me go to Primark was I saw Stacey Solomon's new collection, like kids collection, and I was like, oh my God, I need to go and find it. Now, the only part of that collection that my Primark had, I'm surprised they had any. It actually had the two things that I wanted the most, which I was so happy about. How cute are these? A little rompers for Noah and Jonah. I just think these are so adorable. I can't believe they actually go up to Noah's size. Usually with things like this, they only go up to like a year and a half, like 18 months. So I got three to six months. So cute. And then I got Noah A 18 to 24, which I think will fit him definitely because it looks absolutely huge. It looks like that would fit me. It looks so long. And I actually thought these could be their little Christmas day outfits. I just think they are so cute. And these were £11 each. I was honestly so happy to find these. That was the only thing from the Stacey Solomon collection my Primark had to offer. So yeah, definitely go and have a look because your Primark might have the whole collection, which looks absolutely beautiful. And I got Noah this coat. Now, let me tell you, my digger 
tractor, fire engine, ambulance, car obsessed little boy is going to absolutely love this so much. So I think I'm going to save this one for Christmas. Um, it's just so cute. The other day, it was really funny, we were going over to my mum's and there was like a, I think it was like a com combined harvester coming towards us. Um, and very wrong of me I know but I didn't call it by its correct name and I was like look Noah a tractor because he gets really excited when like a tractor or digger goes by and he was like looking at it and I just saw his face drop and he was like this and he looked so disgusted and he just looked at me and went no mummy diggy not tractor I was like oh <laughs> immediately I'm humbled <laughs> I'm so sorry Noah it's actually a combine harvester not a digger okay couple other little bits that I picked up. I picked up these cosy socks, of course. Always need a new pair of cosy socks for cosy season. Um, and these are really lovely and soft. They were, how much were you? £4.50. And there's like a gorgeous chocolate brown shade. And then beige, <laughs> of course. But I thought they'd be really nice with boots, especially like Ugg boots. Then I picked up some jeans. I know. I know what you're thinking. Gemma in jeans? I don't think I've worn jeans since giving birth to Noah <laughs> two years ago. I just, oh god, I just find them so uncomfortable. So they're a little bit more put together than leggings. So I'm feeling like a nice pair of black jeans with like a cardigan or a nice oversized jumper or a fleece is going to just look really nice this autumn winter. So I got these straight leg jeans because word on the street is skinny jeans are just not the vibe anymore so i got these straight leg jeans which i'm thinking will look really really cute with like ugg boots um so like uggs these jeans and a nice oversized jumper i got a size 12 because i wanted them to be like a little bit more loose i'm hoping these will fit who knows who knows with my postpartum up and down body honestly my body looks different every single day at the moment i think it's breastfeeding like i think it depends on how much like water i'm holding or just like i don't know but some days i yeah we'll have to see one day these might fit one day they might not and last but not least i just picked up this big oversized um <clears throat> <clears throat> plain plain grey jumper, £17, it feels gorgeous, like feels really thick, really soft um, and I just thought this would be kind of like a staple this autumn winter. Okay, fa la 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 la, we are on to the Christmas goodies. I feel so excited about Christmas this year, I mean I do every year but this year, I don't know, like I, I feel, I feel like, do you know what? The past, I think last year I was pregnant and me plus pregnancy equals just not a good, not a good time. <laughs> I'm always so poorly with both my pregnancies. I've been so, so, so poorly. So this time last year, I remember feeling like incredibly just sick and like exhausted. So it's nice to have like some energy this Christmas um, and I just feel really excited. And I've got a new theme, which I think makes me more excited because I've done the same theme for a couple years now, um, but I'm really excited about the new one. So this year's Christmas theme is think classic Christmas, but make it neutral, of course. So we're going to have lots of ribbon, lots of velvet, lots of forest green, you know, like the really like classic green Christmas tree, green wreaths, classic Christmas patterns, you know, like when it just like Christmas decor just makes you feel really warm and cozy inside. We're, t we're talking like Home Alone Christmas, but make it neutral. Um, so the main colours we're going to be using is like gold, cream, chocolate brown i've never done like a chocolate brown theme and i think it's gonna look so nice and then obviously forest green um and this sort of like a rusty kind of color so we're going for more like farmhouse okay first up this is probably my favorite purchase of the year these chocolate brown boucle stockings how gorgeous are these now these were £2.50 each. They were from Timu 
and I actually just can't believe how nice they are. I was a little bit worried when I ordered them um, because I feel like Timu, you never quite know what you're gonna get. <laughs> Like, what you order versus what you receive through the post are two very different things. Um, but these are actually gorgeous. I was worried they might be, you know, when chocolate brown is sometimes a little bit purple. I was worried they might be like that, but they are just gorgeous. And I was so happy with them. What a bargain. Um, and I think they only took, like, maybe a week to come. So, yeah, I'll link as much as I can down below. But you've got time to get these before you decorate for Christmas. Then a little Amazon find. These are brilliant. Again, I think these were £10. They took quite a while to come, these ones. Um, a couple of weeks, I think. Not too long. But they're like these little pre-made bows. And they've got like a little twisty thing. So these will be brilliant for the Christmas tree. Because I want to like incorporate a lot of bows on my Christmas tree this year. I just love the way it looks. I think it's very like in this year. And I love this colour, this like, oh, just so Christmassy. And I think these will just be so much easier to attach to a branch than actually trying to tie a perfect bow. Then let's move on to Matalan. Um, I feel like Christmas decor this year, again, is so amazing in all the shops, especially the supermarkets. Like the supermarkets have got some really great stuff. So I picked up some Christmas mugs. Now, if I don't buy a new Christmas mug every single Christmas, you guys need to call a doctor because there's something wrong with me. I need a new Christmas mug every year, okay, to add to my Christmas mug collection. I picked up these from Matalan. I got two because I'm kind of enjoying having like two of the same mug for me and Jamie. Um, I've got obviously a couple of like one-off like novelty random ones, but I wanted to get a couple but I wanted to get a few in pairs this year. These were three pounds each. They are like the most perfect sized mug. Like a really, I love a big wide mug with like a big chunky handle. Like they're just, they're so nice to hold. And I feel like, I feel like your coffee tastes so much better out of like a big chunky mug. Then I picked up these Santa mugs. How cute. These are actually the paint your own mugs but i'm actually just going to keep them white because i think they just look so nice um i have however ordered um from flying tiger the viral christmas tree decorate your own mug um and me and my sister are actually gonna have like a little festive evening with some snacks and like paint our own christmas mugs so let me know if you want me to film that because that'll be so cute but i think i'm just gonna keep these white because i think they're just so cute then i got this which is actually i don't know what it's called is it called a trivet i feel like that's not right you know that you put um like a hot like casserole dish on it's one of those but i'm thinking this could actually be used as like a nice christmas decor piece you know like where i have my millions of chopping boards stood up against the wall like popped against a chopping board like kind of just or even on a shelf in the kitchen just to add a little bit of like wooden Christmas decor and then I also picked up this how gorgeous it's like this mango wood serving dish which could be used as a serving dish but also like I said a great Christmas decor piece then something random dribbling coffee <laughs> um that I picked up from Sainsbury's who have got some really lovely bits in this year these this pa this pack of velvet bows again so good for the christmas tree they come on a clip so it's just oh the clip just came off the bow oh dear i'll have to get jamie to gorilla glue that one back on let me get one that's i think that's my fault oh my god it just went in my coffee oh my god why would that happen to me Okay, the bow clip is now in my coffee. Love that for me. Merry Christmas. Gemma. The bow doesn't come off. They're like this. So really, I mean, hair attached to it now. Oh my God, this is not going well. <laughs> I just thought it'd be nice and easy. Clip to a branch. That's going to look so cute on the tree. Does that noise just make you feel happy? 
Does that not just give you a serotonin boost? I picked up these Christmas baubles from Dunelm. These were from. Um, I got quite a few of these and I'm thinking these could not only be a tree ornament, but they could also go, I've got like a really nice um, garland for the fireplace this year. We're going all out this year, guys. We are, we are turning this house into winter wonderland. How gorgeous. <laughs> Next, I've got so many really beautiful, like Scandi neutral, cushions this year and i am just in love this is probably one of my favorites i'm thinking of having this one on the bed and guys we're gonna have a christmas tree in the bedroom this year i told you we're going all out um and i can't wait i don't usually decorate the bedroom for christmas but this year it's happening and i'm thinking this on the bed could just be so cute what a gorgeous i feel like this is like very a very classic christmas kind of pattern absolutely love it how nice so I got two of these and I'm thinking these will replace the autumn ones on the sofa. Also from Next, I picked up this little village, wooden village. So cute. You've got some little wooden Christmas trees in there, some little houses. And I'm thinking this could be such a cute little scene for either in the hallway console, the coffee table, the fireplace, or the shelves in the kitchen. I just think that will look so cute. Another thing I really want to invest in this year is like a little nativity scene. Um, growing up, my mum had this, oh, it makes me feel sad thinking about it because it's just so cute. This little nativity scene with baby Jesus. I, it was like one of my favourite pieces of Christmas decor that she would get out every year. And I think this is the year I really want to like invest in some pieces that we are going to, that like Noah and Jonah are going to associate with their childhood like getting that particular thing out for Christmas so I think I'm going to find a little nativity set which will be one of many things that we get out every year um together which I think will be cute so from next I picked up some light up houses I'm a sucker for these at Christmas I got a pack of three so you get this big tall one you get this little like house with the heart on which is so cute and then this little like cottagey one they're just so adorable and they're all light up i just think these look so cozy oh this candle log fire i just love like the trees on there just instantly it's one of those candles that i look at and it just instantly makes me feel cozy and it smells oh, so good it's like a um it's it's quite smoky. It's quite a smoky smell, but it's also quite sweet. It literally smells like a log fire. You know when you go into like a cosy country pub for your Sunday roast and the log fire is like crackling in the corner? It's that kind of scent. Oh, Jamie's going to love that. Jamie loves any kind of like smoky scent. So excited to light that on the 1st of November. Picked up a little reindeer family. Anything that comes in a family, I have just got to have. <laughs> it's so cute. But now I kind of feel like, now I've got two babies this year. I just remembered it's Jonah's first Christmas. So cute. I always feel like I need four. Like when there's three, I feel like I need an additional reindeer because I feel sorry for the little one left out. Um, but these are so sweet. They're like this gorgeous brass gold, which we're gonna be having a lot of this year. Also picked up these guys. These are like a whitewash wooden stag. Lastly, I have this gorgeous wooden marble effect. Not sure if you guys can see that um, very well, but it's like a marble effect Christmas tree. And I just thought that would be perfect for our kitchen shelf. So my loves, that is pretty much everything in this year's Christmas collection. I do still have all of my tree decorating bits, um, which I'm actually going to save for my decorate with me video, which is coming, like I said, very soon. So keep your eyes peeled. Good evening, everybody. It is now a little bit later on in the evening. We have had dinner. I also made my favorite ever apple crumble recipe. I'll pop it in the description box down below, but it's just the best. Um, so we've just had some of that. I have mine with cream, Jamie had his with custard. Noah had his with a side of <laughs> blue icing cake, which he actually made earlier. We got this like little Paw Patrol 
cupcake mix and he made that earlier um so he had apple crumble and cupcake so yeah it's much later on in the evening the babies are in bed i have just had a nice hot shower washed my hair i'm feeling like a new woman and i just wanted to jump on and say thank you so much for spending the day with us and as i'm about to brush my teeth just wanted to remind you guys that i'm going to leave a direct link for surrey in the description box down below and you can also use my code which i'll pop on screen which will get you 20 percent off so plans for now are the usual the usual evening routine of parents <laughs> i am gonna brush my teeth get some pyjamas on, be in bed for 8.30 and then we actually started watching this really good, it's like a it's like a documentary but it's like the length of a film so I think it's like two hours long um, and it's called My Sweet Bobby on Netflix and if you like kind of like a, did any of you guys watch The Tinder Swindler? Oh my god that was so good. If any of you saw that and liked it it's kind of the same vibes as that, you know, like catfish vibes. It's very, very good. Um, but we fell asleep last night, so we actually have just over half of that to watch, which I've been looking forward to finding out what happens in that all day long. Anyway, I am going to love you and leave you. I'll catch up with you all in my next video, which may or may not be decorating for Christmas. Like I said, it's coming early this year. Can't wait. I'm literally so excited. Um, but yeah, love you all so much and I will catch up with you all in the next video. Bye!